It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from the Marble Brewery in Manchester. It's been an awful long time since I reviewed one of their beers. I'm really looking forward to this one. It's a bottle of their Earl Grey IPA, described as the Strong Brew. It's 6.8% ABV and it's been produced to Howick standards. Um, now what they do, they add Earl Grey tea to the kettle. Um, they say they use it kind of it's a timed method and how they do it and it was first produced with brewery Emily's Keys Bubberman um, I've actually remembered all of that I, I actually kind of memorized all that in my mind um, yeah so looking forward to this one 6.8% ABV and it's described as to be very citrusy so let's get it out into a glass and see what we get so the original brew was with Keys Bubberman They've gone on to produce this beer now. Well, they've continued the beer by themselves, by the looks of things. It's a bottle conditioned beer. You can see the sediment there. I'll just leave that there in the bottle. I want to show you a clean, crisp glass of beer. There you go. It's a golden coloured ale. Nice levels of carbonation. And you can see the the yeast there floating around in the glass see it there it's a two finger white head let's get the aroma on this amber colored ale yeah big punchy citrusy spicy grapefruity and of course you get that earl grey tea only slightly um, of course it, it's it's all about the hops but then it's a kind of a nice infusion of this earl grey tea in the background smells really good smells really strong in terms of flavors let's dive in cheers oh blimey stone the crows wow 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 and big punching grapefruit flavours um, slightly earthy British earthiness going on in here with the, the, the spices and the malt and the hops but it's an absolute bombardment of, of lovely fruity bitterness lots of flavours there's some, a little bit of kiwi fruit in there. There's some orange peel. There's some lemon peel. It's got a lovely wrapping mouthfeel. The, the, the beer kind of coats your palate. There's a little bit of stickiness going on there from the, the hop resins. And wow, 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 wow. Um, there's just some beers in life that just get to stone the crows from me. It's just, it's an instant reaction. Within the first two seconds, I know how good this beer is going to be, and um, it's top class. It's just so drinkable, even though it's a little bit heavy, it's a little bit medium bodied, it's still so damn drinkable. The carbonation is perfect. The flavours are perfect, the bitterness is perfect, the sweetness in the from the malt is perfect. You get a little bit of kind of caramel malt in there that, that gives some nice toffee flavours. It's a very well-rounded, fantastically produced beer. As I said, kiwi fruits, it's pine needle, it's bitter, it's grapefruits, mango. Wow. Wow, 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 what a great beer. Now then, as you saw earlier, I left some of that sediment out of the beer. I'm just going to show you it now. I like to show you it because you may be new to beer. You may have come across this beer review by accident. And you might be wondering why this beer now looks like this. If you've bought this beer and you've poured it all out. And you see all them bits and pieces there floating around in the glass don't worry it's not a problem 
if it goes in the glass, it's fine. It's still drinkable. In fact, you've just added a load of vitamin D to your, to your diet. I'll prove it. If you like your beers nice and clean and crisp and nice looking, leave the sediment out. If you don't mind it, because it doesn't really change any of the flavours in the beer, what the brewers do, they add a little bit of yeast in each bottle. It produces the second fermentation process in the beer and it naturally carbonates the beer. So there we go. It's a live beer, full of vitamin D. Very, very good for you. So, rating then for Earl Grey IPA, the Strong Brew by Marble Brewery. They really came bouncing on the scene, Marble, about four years ago. Um, everybody was talking about them. Um, their beers were famous from, from one end of the country to another. Um, and then I suppose what happens is that competition comes along. Um, first of all, probably from, from the Colonel... Uh, there was always then competition from Magic Rock and there's the Brewdog were all, already in existence. And then the London breweries come along, the big kind of beaver towns and and all of the rest of them. I can't think of all of the breweries. I've been here all night to speak. Camden Town and, and, and I'm going to try and think of at least one. Um, Partisan Brewing Company come along. A lot of breweries opened up at the same time. Uh, brew by numbers come along. Um, I'm not saying basically what I'm trying to say is don't forget marble Don't forget marble brewery. They are a fantastic brewery and um, they produce fantastic beers and they're well worth trying out um, I'm probably my own kind of uh, I Really should have tried their beers. I haven't tried their beers for about two or three years, so so um, shame on me because they produce great beer. Rating for the Earl Grey IPA then? It's a smashing beer. When I say Stone the Crows, I generally mean a 10 out of 10. I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10. I think this is a wonderful beer. From the tea and the beer, from the Earl Grey tea, them, them little kind of tea leafy flavours, it's wonderful. It's a very, very nice beer. Thanks for watching. Put your comments in the comments box. Please subscribe to our daily beer reviews and cheers.